Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have added either a drop-down or a text field to a form, you can double-click that field to open either the drop-down properties or text field properties dialog boxes. You can use the tabs that appear within this dialog box to set the appearance and functionality of the selected form field. You can then click the close button within the dialog box to apply the settings. In this lesson, you will learn how to set the properties that appear on the Calculate tab within these two dialog boxes. These settings only appear on the Calculate tab in the respective dialog boxes of drop-down fields and text fields. You can click the Calculate tab to set the value of the field to be the value of a calculation that you specify. The field will then show the result of the specified calculation upon values contained within other form fields. Note that you may want to set this field to Read Only by checking the Read Only checkbox that appears on the General tab. Doing this ensures that the user cannot temporarily alter the value shown in this field and that the field will only display the result of the calculation specified. Now, if you do not want the field to be calculated, then leave the Value is not calculated option button selected. To display the Sum, Product, Average Value, or Minimum or Maximum values within selected fields, choose the Value is the option button, and then use the adjacent drop-down to select either the Sum, Product, Average, Minimum or Maximum choice. Then click the adjacent Pick button to launch the Field Selection dialog box. Then click the fields to place a check mark next to the names of the fields whose values you want to use for the selected calculation. If you experience difficulty when trying to click the check boxes to check them, then click the very small white space immediately to the left of the check boxes instead. This is a known issue with this dialog box in Acrobat. Once you've selected your fields for the calculation, you can then click the OK button. To display the result of a calculation that is specified using simplified field notation instead, you would select the simplified field notation option button. You can then click the Edit button to open the JavaScript Editor dialog box. You can type a calculation using simplified notation into the large white text field shown in this dialog box. Simplified field notation simply references the field names that are shown in the form and combines them with the standard mathematical operators used in many mathematical formulas, like the ones in Excel, for example. Note that the field names referenced by the calculation should not contain spaces or special characters to ensure ease of use with referencing in calculations. If you insist on using spaces or special characters in field names, then you must place the JavaScript escape character of the backslash before any space or special character within the field names when referenced within a calculation. For example, a field name of text space 1 could be referred to in a calculation as text backslash space 1. That's using the JavaScript escape character, and it's placed right before the special character or the space character. Simplified field notation uses standard mathematical operators and order of operations, including parentheses. You can also enter numeric values directly into the calculations you create. Creating a calculation using simplified field notation is like creating a formula using simple formula notation in Microsoft Excel. For example, subtracting the value of a field named text2 from the value of a field named text1 can be written as text1 
minus text2 within the JavaScript Editor dialog box using simplified field notation. After creating your calculation, you simply click the OK button in the JavaScript Editor dialog box to apply it. Now to display the result of a calculation by using a custom JavaScript calculation, you would select the Custom Calculation Script Option button and then click the Adjacent Edit button to open the JavaScript Editor dialog box. You would then type a custom JavaScript calculation script into the large white text field shown here or copy and paste one into this field. This option allows you to use full JavaScript to perform more complex mathematical operations on field values. You can then click the OK button when you're finished. Now to set the order in which fields are calculated within a form, select the Other Tasks tool that appears in the Tasks panel and then select the Set Field Calculation Order command to open the Calculated Fields dialog box. Here you can select a field name and then click the up and down buttons to set its calculation order within the form. You can then click the OK button when you're finished to apply the field calculation order that you set. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.